Hello everyone, this is King Kong IoT lessons. This is lesson 8, uh, FTTT automatic solution. Uh, before we have made many video toys for the relay output, you can country many devices like light, a cotton, a motor, or many devices. In this video, we will begin to learning how to let your output uh, device become smart. So we can use this FTTT automatic function solution. So let's look at what this FTTT means. That is uh, IFTTT, uh, this means if uh, this T is T, 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 so this is if this, then that. So we just need to let the input sensor and how to track the output uh, by we set, we percent. So uh, this means, this word this means the input sensor. Uh, Usually we have used this kinds of sensor. Uh, this is DI, AI. DI means digital input. Uh, this means AI means analog input. And this is one-way bus sensor. Just a digital sensor I will tell you later. And this is that. Uh, this that means this that. This that is output. So we have used the relay or the dimmer, uh, countering the lamp, or countering the curtain, or door, or motor just uh, uh, directions for output. Uh, this is for input and this is for output. So uh, what is this DIAI? And this is a sensor means so we can the point to. Uh, this is a digital sensor means only by one or zero uh, two state. Uh, just like this sensor, the door sensor, smoke sensor, PIR sensor, what float and what leak. This means just a two state, uh, like the door open and close, and the smoke, uh, whether have smoke or no smoke. And this is PR, whether machine a person is exist or not have a person exist. And this is water uh, float, just uh, the water level is high or low, just uh, high or low, two state. And this is water leak, uh, whether have water leak or not water leak. So all these sensors have two states, just uh, this two state is the digital input. And this is the analog input sensor. Uh, this is the uh, uh, value usually used in industry, uh, like uh, 0 to 5 volt, or 4 to 20 uh, megampere. And this is have a value of the sensor, like the temperature, the humidity, and the water level, and the light, and the pH and the MPK and the EC for soil. And all these sensors will have a value, uh, just the temperature, uh, how many, like uh, 20 centigrade or 30 centigrade, and the humidity, uh, about uh, 70 or 80 percent, and the water level. This water level can know the deep of the water tank, uh, like uh, one meter, two meter, three meter. So this have a value, and this water flock just high and low, not understand and not know how many dips in the water tank. And this is light, the sunshine, the light, and the, this is soil, the pH, and all have a value. So we see this is used by the analog input. And this is one way bus for our board. Uh, this is for the temperature and the humidity. Uh, this called uh, uh, this module, uh, a DS80 and B20 temperature sensor. And this is uh, uh, include uh, AD circuit uh, because this sensor, the output is a digital signal. But this digital signal is different from this, this two seat. This is a digital, is a signal output, like a signal output. So this is uh, three kinds of sensor in our input module will you will used and this is commonly used for the industry and this three we will look at uh, how to read this input sensor date and to country the relay output so we use the CLB logic controller and this is H32B relay controller uh, but also you can choose any other channels of the relay board not only H32B, uh, you can see this is a CLB and this is a relay bar. The CLB have 16 channel digital input, 
16 channel analog input and this have five uh, temperature sensor so we can give you see this uh, this is CLB I give uh, you see the PCB board so you can understand what is inside and this is relay board this is 16 channel relay board so these two board uh, this is for input and this is for output so you can see this board have relay and this board without relay uh, just use this photo board uh, by this way and they will connect with the cable IS232 cable just this and this install on this way and this is a typical diagram uh, for the CLB so uh, we have many channels for your sensor to use so you need to choose which sensor you will to use and which kind of sensor you will to use uh, like this one this is PIR uh, detect whether have a person exist so you can use this PIR sensor this sensor will give it a DC 12 volt power supply and this is output a dry contact to DI1 this is uh, for power and this is signal output for the DI1 uh, you can use any digital input channel just I example take it on for DI1 and this is DI2 we have a door sensor this is a door sensor this door sensor you can see have not without work as a power supply so it just have the uh, contact output like a relay but not need power just when the door opened it have a uh, normal close and a normal open the uh, two point uh, and this is uh, common for the ground and this is for two output a uh, normal open normal close this is normal close normal open and this is for di1 and this uh, this is for di2 and this is for di3 so this is detect when the door is open and uh, when the door is closed for two one uh, when is for open and when is for close uh, just the two line if you want only uh, detect when the door is open so you can uh, not use this line is no problem just use one line so this is have two normal open and normal close out you can connect with two digital input and this is an analog sensor for example for water level and also you can add this DC 12 watch uh, for the power supply for the sensor and uh, this time the analog input analog output uh, to this AI one so this is output uh, from 0 to 5 volt so this is a signal for the analog output and this is a DS18B20 uh, sensor this is a temperature sensor and this is a VCC and ground uh, this VCC maybe have 3.3 voltage or 5 voltage or can use for this sensor and this S means signal this signal is digital is signal digital to the CLB uh, this have like a signal but not is the uh, digital this two state uh, just a signal digital signal so it's very uh, good and this is waterproofed and you can connect with this CLB with three lines so this is uh, three typical diagram for the sensor connect to CLB and this is relay board uh, I have said use the S232 point cable connect with together and this relay board and this is CLB all connect with the load uh, you can see all connect with the load uh, it can buy Ethernet or by Wi-Fi it also can buy Ethernet or by Wi-Fi to your load and this load uh, you have the PC connect to the load and your mobile phone connect to the load by Wi-Fi so you can country this relay board uh, by PC or by mobile phone or oh, this board because it's, the load is connected with the internet so you can also use the PC or mobile phone application uh, for internet to remote control the uh, relay board this is work in locally network without internet because it's safety it's very important so we will not let this CLB connect to cloud server just for local country automatic to country this relay board so this is connected with the internet and it can work with the internet and work in the LAN local network uh, so 
Uh, this is a diagram for the hardware, and this is point four. Point four, you can create the FTTT command. So this is a, a very important function because you have connected sensor, so you can create the command just by your mouse in Windows uh, software. Just you can create if uh, AI, if you choose AI sensor, is less than or equal or great, greater than, uh, equal or less than a value. So then you can send uh, which relay is on and which relay is off or is target. This target means change the state. Uh, on become off, off become on, just the change of state. So this can also, uh, many relays uh, work together, like uh, like uh, relay one on, relay two off, and also you can add the delay time. And maybe some uh, application or some project need a delay time, so you can set this uh, range of uh, seconds to delay, like insert to the two relay actions, uh, just uh, relay one on and the delay uh, seconds, uh, two seconds or three seconds, and then relay two will be off. So you can create uh, this command. It's not needed to write code. Not needed. Uh, it's very easy. Just by our software, and this also you can choose the DI digital input when, like the PI sensor is up or is down, and when some switch panel, the button is up and down, then you can also choose the then command, uh, which is works. And this is for the timer, uh, such as if you can set if 10 is 7 p.m. or if 10 is 8 a.m., then you can do some relay works. So we call this FTTD command. The CLB max support 50 FTTD command. So you can create this FTTD command and save to the CLB uh, in local, uh, that is inside of the machine not save in your internet or cloud server, just uh, save in the CLB. So uh, this is the solution for input and the output, and you can set the FTTT functions by yourself, just work in local network. Uh, if internet is broken, oh, no problem, the automatic system will also run it. Uh, it will be good work, uh, perfectly. Okay, next video and next time we will tell you some Example for details of the FTTT settings. Okay, thanks for watching.